There we go. How much? Got something. All up in the pads. Oh my gosh. Take yourself over there with a trolling motor. What are you losing? Keep them tight. Guys, I got a fish on the jerk bait and he is just all up in those pads. You still feel him? Yeah. Oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, that's not a bad. Oh god. Oscar? Oscar? Yeah! Tiger Oscar! Look at that beauty! You know what this means? Catch and cook. Catch and cook, baby. Tiger Oscar edition, guys. We're gonna hold on to this guy. I actually said I hope I catch a Tiger Oscar because it's been on my list of fish to try. It's actually one of the ones I have not tried yet. So we're gonna hold on to this guy and cook him up. So stay tuned later on for an episode of Catch and Cook. Yeah, Sweet, buddy. I got one of these in my tank. Yeah, man, that's good. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are back at the house. We had a phenomenal day out there fishing, but we're back and we're ready to try these Tiger Oscars. Now, this has been on the list of freshwater fish that I've been asked to try for a while, and I finally had an opportunity to try it. Now, I hear actually good things about this fish, so we're going to go ahead and get them cut, get them filleted, get them skinned, and then move on to the cooking process. I'm kind of excited, so let's get started. Alright guys, here is the Tiger Oscar. Now I'm quite surprised. Tiger Oscar is not the most prettiest fish out there, but the meat is some really, really white. And fun fact, this fish was actually, I forgot to bleed these fish. So this is non-bleeded uh, Tiger Oscar and it came out really, really white. So I am, I have high hopes on how this stuff is gonna taste. We had it cut and filleted and everything like that. So now it's time to go ahead and bread these bad boys up, throw them in the pan. Try it for the first time and let you guys know how it tastes. Let's do it. Okay, so we are ready to prepare our Tiger Oscar. What we're gonna do first is we are going to put these bad boys in a nice little milk bath. We're gonna give them about 20, maybe 30 minutes to just hang out, chill out in here. Nice and covered, perfect. All right, so it has been a while. We're gonna take our Oscar from our milk bath and put it directly into our egg wash and then we're going to dip it into our bag of fish fry so this should be very interesting right, that's done we're going to mix it well into our egg wash mix 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 what i'm going to do here something a little different i have done this before but i haven't done it in a while so i'm just going to put this to the side I'm gonna take my bag, I'm gonna take my fish fry. I'm gonna fill up my bag here. About a quarter of the way. It's not much in here, so we'll just use it all. Or most of it. Oh God, I'm making a mess. All right, that's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the fish in the bag and we're just gonna mix it all up. And uh, hopefully it gets a nice even coverage of fish fry. Here we go, straight from the egg wash into the bag. Close that bad boy up and get to shaking. Let's see how these things came out. Hopefully it came out good. Oh yeah, perfect. Even distribution right there of that breading. Oh man, it looks so good. Look at that. Perfect. All right, now that our fish is completely covered in breading, let's go ahead and get our patent pending hot as pin and hot as 
oil ready to go for these fish. All right, you guys, hot ass pan ready to go. We're gonna turn that stove on high, boy, because you know we love burnt fish up in this piece. And we got our hot ass oil, as you guys all know and love. If you guys wanna check out our hot ass products, we got new merch available, link in description. You get 10% off if you use code HOTAF. Definitely check it out. Yo, have you checked out the new hot ass products? Yeah, so once your oil is scorching hot where it's almost guaranteed to get burned fish, you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is take my pieces here and lay them down like so. Two, three, four. And we are going to give them, I'd say, probably two minutes, three minutes aside. They're really small, they're not thick at all. So they should not take too long to cook. And I am excited, they look great. I cannot wait to try Tiger Oscar. It's been on the list for a while. So here we go. Alright, looks like these bad boys are done. Unfortunately, I didn't burn them. I don't know what's going on today, but I cooked them like almost perfect. So we're gonna take them out. Ah, freaking oil! Get that a bit closer there. In and in and in wow those look amazing look how perfectly cooked those things are you guys i mean if i don't get a thumbs up and a positive comment about how i did not burn this fish i don't know what i'm gonna do look just look at how amazing that looks it is finished it looks great smells great i'm super excited let's head to the table and try this tiger oscar i'm so pumped right now all right you guys so we are back with another taste test catch and cook this time it is tiger oscar now it's been requested many many times on the comments and just haven't had time to really get to it but the trip me and julian had out we caught a ton of them so i took advantage of it took a couple home and here we have it right here tiger oscar right in front of me ready to go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little break test show you guys the texture the inside of it uh, see if it's flaky if it's white and then i'm going to try it for the first time and let you know my honest opinion so let's get started okay so here is a piece right here now off the bat i'm going to break it for you right here check this out look at how it just breaks apart so easy and it's just super flaky super white inside now, off the bat, I can tell you that picking that piece up just to show you guys, it is it is fully cooked. It's not raw or anything. It's so tender and it's just like, it's like fall off. Look at that. It's so loose and flaky. I actually can't wait to try this stuff that it just falls apart in your hands. So, Tiger Oscar catch and cook taste test in three, two, one. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good stuff right there. Solid, solid fish. It tastes almost like tilapia. It has like a tilapia type taste. It's soft. Mm. It is so good. So good. Tiger Oscar is very, very good. Everything that everyone has said about it, I now know what you're talking about. Texture is there, the flavor is there. Everything about this fish is perfect. I feel like I feel like this would be really, really good in like a ceviche. Wow. Two thumbs up on Tiger Oscar. It is amazing. Really, really good. So that is it for this episode of Catch and Cook. Now, I was pleasantly surprised. I honestly was not expecting this from Tiger Oscar. Now, yes, they are pretty. They're pretty fish, like they have bright colors on them, but they're not the most desirable fish that someone would want to eat just from looking at them. But it tastes really good. So if you have a chance to catch and try Tiger Oscar, I strongly advise you to go out, catch one and try one. I don't think there's any limitations on them. If you guys enjoy the Catch and Cook series, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you want me to try next. Freshwater, saltwater. 
leave a comment, and if it's something that I have not tried before, I will most likely try it in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy the content that I create for you. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you later. Uh, hey man, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I think I just, I think I just ate your uncle, dude. Sorry. I'm sorry.